e-learning revolution has begun in Zamboanga City. Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Rao. Are you ready for some science talk today? Today's class is on how to determine the Philippine area of responsibility. Before we start, here are the components. Content Standard Performance Standard Learning confidence. Now, let's have first a quick review of our past lesson. Tropical cyclones or weather disturbances used to describe a rotating, organized system of clouds and thunderstorms over tropical waters. But ASA is the government agency responsible in monitoring any type of weather disturbance that enter the country. Philippines is one of the countries that is often hit by tropical cyclones. On average, there are about 20 that enter the country every year. 20 on average? I don't think there's that much that struck us. I know it got you thinking as well. How do we really know if a tropical cyclone is in the country already? First, let's look at the picture. What can you say about the picture? What do you think the person is doing? That's right! It is a weather report done by a meteorologist from Pag-asa. Did you notice the red box-like figure that bounds the country? Here, take a look at the picture. Notice those red lines. It is the Philippine area of responsibility, or the park. This is the smallest monitoring domain of Pag-asa, whose boundary is closest to the Philippine Islands. Tropical cyclones inside the park warrants the issuance of severe weather quality the highest level of warning information issued for tropical cyclones. Now this gives us a question. How do we plot the power in the map? That's right, using the coordinate system, or also known the latitude-longitude coordinate system. Remember your grade 7 lesson? We use coordinates to locate countries or land and water forms. Plot the points in the area where the latitude meets the longitude. After plotting the points, connect all of them to form the boundary of the bar. So easy, right? I think you are ready for a short activity. Come on! work. Here's a sample map. Values in the y-axis correspond to the latitude, dividing the earth to north and south of the equator. On the other hand, values in the x-axis correspond to the longitude, dividing the earth and west of the prime meridian. Now let's plot these 
points. Starting with point A, 5 degrees north and 115 degrees east. Go! That's correct! Let's proceed to point B. 15 degrees north, 115 degrees east. Go! Awesome! Proceed to the next point. Next is point C. 21 degrees north and 120 degrees east. Go! That's correct! We're halfway now. Keep it up. Now to point B. 25 degrees north, 120 degrees east. Go! You're right. Nice one. Next is point E, 25 degrees north, 135 degrees east. Go! Fantastic! Proceed to the last one. For point F, 5 degrees north, 135 degrees east. Go! Perfect! You've now plotted all the points. Last but not the least, connect all the dots now. Plotted the bar. Congrats! Now that you have the bar, what now? The bar is important because through it, but as a forecasters can monitor, analyze, and forecast tropical cyclones that might impact us. And we can track the path of tropical cyclones within and outside the country's boundaries. And that's for another lesson. And that's all for today. You were awesome. Did you learn something new? This has been Sir Raouf. Muchas gracias. Always remember, mas alegre na escuela. Classes might be suspended, but learning will continue.